Okay, hello again. Well, I got another package in the mail. Um, this one is going to be, I believe, a game called Silverwood Grove. Um, uh, what's the name of the company? I interviewed the actual game designer of this, um, a guy named Jeff. And um, that's our episode on our podcast. So if you go to Hot Game Magnet, um, you'll find our episode titled Silverwood Grove, and you'll get to hear a lot about what the designer of the mechanics of this game has to say. Um, now, this has actually been distributed by an Australian game maker, Sam Millane. <coughs> the game was designed by Jeff Pierce. For some reason, I wanted to say Pete Patterson. Oh, pretty good packaging. So this one was packaged and shipped directly from the factory in China. Um, normally, there's a, a distribution hub locally, but this is not one of the, not like a huge amount of stuff. So I think it makes sense for them to just ship them straight out from uh, China. So looks great. I don't see any damage to the box. So did shipping, nice artwork. Your woodland adventure awaits. This is for one to six players. 8 plus and 40 minutes. So I'm definitely interested in this one. Um, it was really cool talking to Jeff about the, uh, the mechanics of the game. It's, um, it seems like a pretty heavy game, but I think it's designed so that you can play it pretty comfortably with those younger kids, like eight years or older. Um, oh, that's a nice box. Look, they've given it like a printing on the inside surface, so it looks like a wooden box on the inside. A nice score pad. Dual layered um, dashboards, which is really nice. <clears throat> am I doing the thing again where I hold it all the way up here? I did, I think I am. Here we go. So there's a score pad, and it's printing on both sides. It's got uh, linen finish on it. This is just a gloss finish. Player board. Got your actions. Got lots of layers to this game. So, and we've got how many of those? Six. And, oh, look at that. Each one has its own background art. So that looks like Central Australia. That looks like Northern Queensland. I'm not sure what that, Tasmania maybe. More Central Australia. Oh, oh South Australia maybe. Looks coastal. Oh, some beautiful mountains. Yeah, I like that. I like that each one of these, even though it has all the same information on it, they've got unique artwork. Highlands, Billabong, Savannah, Rainforest. And it's got a little bit of text on each one about what it is. The Thicket. Thicket has the good luck of to be almost central to all of Silver Wood Grove and is rich in resources. Many animals call this region home, including... Flinders. Interesting. And what's this one? The Outback. Excellent. All right, and then we've got a nice little accordion fold rule book and a punch board with little tokens. Oh, look at that. It's got that nice wood pattern on the, printed on the back again. And all these little unique little woodland creature characters. They're all meant to be Australian <clears throat> native animals. So like the kookaburra and the koala and the kangaroo, all the, it's a, a lot of really interesting diverse animals in Australia that don't exist anywhere else in the world. Um, more so than just the, the usual kangaroo koala ones that everybody knows about. So here's some interesting action discs and a decent amount of cards. Not as many as I had originally thought, which is not a bad thing because honestly, too many cards and sometimes the game can get a bit complicated. Oh, and these are like giant sized cards. Black cockatoo, tree frog, echidna, kingfisher, greater bilby, tiger quoll, water dragon, frill neck. We've got lots of those frillies around here up in Darwin. Tazzy Devil, not so many of those. Rainbow Lorikeet, Platypus, Tawny Frogmouth, I love those ones. Sugar Glider, we've got those, and Kookaburra. Everybody's got the lovely Kookaburra. 
So as far as production quality goes, this is looking really nice. <clears throat> and there's still print, more printing on the inside of the box, a nice sturdy plastic insert. I actually really like these types of inserts. They hold up really well. It doesn't, looks like it might have enough room if you sleeve the cards, depending on how much, how you sleeve them. Of course, you can always put things in other parts of the box, or if you really run out of room, you can get rid of the insert altogether, and then there's plenty of room. Um, let's see if I can get this packaging opened. Can't tell if this is shrink wrapped. Oh uh, no, it's got that fold in it. Flinders. <clears throat> Here we go. So let's have a quick look at these cards. So they all say Flinders on the back? Nope, they say, some say Daintree, Kakadu. That's not far from where I live. Easy, eat hard. Interesting. Watering hole, hospital, burrow. So this game has a real um, Everwood Grove feel to it. Is that what it's called? I'm saying it wrong. Pinball, Acacia University, Dreamcrafters. Very nice quality. Ironbark Spring, Ironbark Spring. And I'm gonna have to learn how to play this. Of course, I don't know what any of this means as I'm going through it, other than just, I believe that the game is, the mechanics are really well put together. And, um, but it'll be interesting to see how well they, how it all, how well it goes. If it's gonna be a really heavy game or if it's just going to be a nice, easy game, but with engaging mechanics. It's a very tough balancing act. Chronicler, Builder, lots and lots of different artwork here. Every card has a unique character on it. Wait, did we see him already? I don't think so. Nope. Lots of, even when they're using the same animals, like there was three different koalas, but they were all an artist, a uh, herald, and a caretaker. There's another one, Professor, so a different artwork for each of them. There's some places. So that's um, Silverwood Grove. And I would say this is an excellent looking game and worth checking out. Um, so that's with, if you want to pick a cup of copy, check out Great Games. And there should be available on retail quite soon. And I actually have quite a few games from that company, Sam Milan Great Games. All right, well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, please feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. We uh, do frequent unboxings. And uh, please do check out our podcast where we review many of the games that we play. Um, that's at hotgamemagnet.com, which you can find us on Facebook or Instagram.